Hey, we're Gaz and Janoli, a UK family about to embark on our latest adventure to Orlando, Florida. Come and join us as we fly over 4,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean to our happy place for our two week holiday. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and follow us on our amazing adventurous trip. And here is what's coming up. We take you through our experience at Manchester Airport and have the worst tasting food we have ever had on a plane. It's got spinach in it. <laughs> oh, I can get used to this. Where are we, bud? The airport! We are through security. It took us 12 minutes. I know, that was like that was record so time. Fast. That was really good. So fast. So and we heard the guy saying that normal, the normal lane was 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, because we kept the pram. It was through the family lane, which yeah. was 12 minutes. We mentioned this last time. If yeah. you do have a pram, even if you're not planning on using it, don't check it in. Bring it with you because you get to go to the family lane in Manchester Airport. <laughs> yeah. Saves which you a lot of time. A <laughs> no. Actually, a lot's changed since we last came in April because the checking desks aren't the usual checking desks and the oh, new ones. Moved. Oh, fancy now they are. Swanky, so they? fancy. Yeah. But one downside is the oversized baggage, which we have for the car seat, is literally the upper end of the airport near Fire absolutely end. nothing at all. <laughs> so as you can tell, we are going to Florida. It's very different this time around though, compared to our previous trips because- We're off site for the first time ever. ever. But ever. we're kind of not off site because we're on site just at Universal. We're yes. staying at a different on site. Yeah, so we're staying at, well, you'll, you'll find out later. We'll find out later where we're staying. Um, and then we are going to switch midway. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to my favourite resort. Your favourite resort? Second. Second favourite resort. We bought Ollie some new <laughs> games on Minecraft. I expected him not to notice until no, he got game. the plane. It was just a game. Yes, just a game. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, I just got Star Wars. What? Go back home, I just got Star Wars. Do you know what's been one of the nicest things this morning? The amount of people that have wished us like to have a safe flight, yeah. to have a great holiday. This is one of the great things that's happened with us starting to do this vlog, is that like there's so many people that like speak to us on a daily basis and that like, are genuinely excited for us to go away. It makes us more excited though it as is, well. It is, then. Yeah, exactly. It does. And we're gonna be meeting loads of people whilst we're away as well, because there's loads of people going away at the same time, because obviously it's a school holidays. So it's it's going to be a really good holiday. Yeah, nice and chill, full of friends and fun. Yeah. If you're new to Manchester Airport, you're coming in the next couple of months, then there's four main options for sit down are here. So you've got the Ale House, you've got Wagamama's, you've got San Carlo, and then the one that we're going to now, which is the Bridgewater Exchange, which is just basically like a Witherspoons. It's a Joseph Holt, not a Witherspoon, so I apologise. Angie's melting. Oh, melting this morning. Rushing, rushing around. So we ate here back in April and the menu is a little bit different compared to what it was. Why is it? It's small now. There's no kids menu. No. Before and it was like three pages, wasn't it? Yeah. And they had like Eggs Benedict, they had pancakes, they had waffles, they had that massive plate of food that we had. You're going to eat all that? <laughs> oh, it's all gone. There's only two plates. So now you get the, the big, the number one, which is basically the full English. Oh yeah, that was like... Which is ten pound, or you get pastries or um, baps, breakfast baps, bams, muffins. Not muffins. What do you call him? What do you call him? Let's start the debate. <laughs> Muffin. It's a, it's a butter. We have been called to our gate, gate 206. Any ideas on the uh, on the plane? I want to say, what are they called? I don't know who's Something left. Girl. I can't, I can't remember who's left. Jersey girl. Jer let's, go, let's go. Yeah, let's go with Jersey girl. <laughs> We're going Jersey girl. It's not to go about us. It's not. That, that's a good thing. It's right there, Daddy. Yeah. Not been on uptown girl. No. Been on downtown girl. <laughs> And we've also been on Golden Girl on. And we have been on oh, yeah. um, Uptown Girl or Silver Girl. Right Literally, now. Angie's going to be singing Westlife now for the entire journey. This is someone who is excited, but also extremely tired <laughs> after only having three hours sleep last night. Ollie's excited as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we thought we were doing well last night. The whole idea, we usually stay at the Clayton, don't we? Yeah. The hotel before, <laughs> we, the night before. 
but we checked it. It was two hundred pounds for one night. For one night. So and we're I was like, like nah. that's a lot of merch and snacks. <laughs> so we uh, we dragged Angie's mum out of bed at four o'clock in the morning. Thanks, we, mum. <laughs> made a drive. So thanks, Pat. Angie just checked. She's doing the no S's jig. <laughs> None of us have got S's today. <laughs> so it looks like we're about to board. Yeah. We're going to Florida. <laughs> we're going home. What's that mean? We are all taxied up, ready to go. Ollie's on his iPad. Oh, switching. But, that was sand. I don't know, shafted. But guess what? We're going to Florida. Our beer is here. Can't wait to try the new one because these are showing their age a bit now. Cruise seats, would you please? Oh, we're taking off! Taking off! We're taking off now! <laughs> Eight hours 56 to be exact. Right, so we've gone to this professional setup now. An iPhone. But the audio is rubbish on an iPhone, especially on a plane. So we've got a little mic, haven't we, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? So, um,. Lots of room. Lots of room. Coming around with the uh, with the drinks. What, what have they announced the menu yet? No menu yet. No menu. But the good news is we are going to Florida. Right, first round of drinks. So I have myself a Coke. Ollie has an orange juice, and we have these pretzel fins. I do miss the old pretzels, if I'm honest with you. But these are still good. But. I mean, we have massive bags of the old pretzels at home now just because of these flights. That's it, Penn State. We've been asked a few times now, how do we keep Molly entertained on a nine hour flight? Whoa, what's it this? And the answer is distractions. Ollie literally had a meltdown in Marks and Spencer's every day because he saw this magazine and we couldn't let him have it because he'd already bought it for him for the plane. Right, so Ollie's child's meal has arrived. Cheddar, they got the cheddars. How do you know I like cheddars? Thank you. It's a pretty decent meal this, so he's got he's got chicken. penguins. And corn on the cob. Popcorn chicken corn on the cob. Mini cheddars. And is that hot that? <laughs> and some raisins. To be fair, that's a pretty that's much of a result that. <laughs> okay. Why have we started with penguins? Right, penguins for starters. So the mains have now arrived. Yeah, we've got the chicken and bacon in a white wine sauce with peas and carrots. That looks interesting. So Andrew, I missed to point this out. The pressed uh, board cutlery, it actually reduces the waste of the equivalent of 18 jet engines every year. And the meal content is made out of plant material. That's cool. All right, so me and Angie are going for exactly the same thing. We've got the chicken, bacon, and white wine sauce. This amazing goo pot that we like each time. And bread roll. So they don't do like twisters anymore, but they do have these pips. They're organic. Organic. Last time it was like a tropical flavour, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't nice last time. It was organic. The sugar free and organic. And it feels a bit watered down, doesn't it? Yeah, sugar free. No added sugar. All organic. Okay. I found out why it tastes disgusting. It's a rainbow fruit lolly with cheeky veg. Apple, grape, pineapple, banana, mango, orange, strawberry. But then it's also got butternut, carrot, purple carrot and spinach in it. It's disgusting. <laughs> this is so bad. So bad. It's got spinach in it. <laughs> Why? Why bring back the twisters, Virgin Arctic? Yeah. 
Hashtag Green Belt Twisters. Ja, Landing. For fun! <laughs> Clap has been instigated. Lots of people on that That's mostly the bird. Yeah. You'll see us at the other side of passport control because no phones are allowed. Yeah. It smells Florida already. I can't wait to hear Buddy Dyer. Welcome us back. Hello, this is Orlando Bear, Buddy Dyer. If you're a resident of Central Florida, I want to welcome you home. If you're one of our 75 million visitors, Welcome to the City View. We're back. We're back. <laughs> it never ever gets old walking no. in this airport. Oh, I love this airport. It's so good, isn't it? Apart from when you went home, then yeah. it's passing. If, if you shout really loud, it echoes, isn't it? Yeah. Fun. You got me. It chickens out. Uh, one thing I have noticed has changed though since last time. Whoa. No longer the beacons of magic. I uh, kind of, yeah, with a, yeah, she's got all like 50 of stuff on it, but it's no longer just the beacons, so, like Mickey Mouse on it a second ago, Lion King's on it now. It's magical. It's not. And where is my figment on the floor? No, figment's Jackson. gone. He's gone. Jackson's gone. We've got a little figment's icon. It's still cool. Super cool. It's just not as magical. So once you're here, you've got option of Terminal A or Terminal B. And Terminal A. And then AA is where you put your luggage when you first come out of customs and it comes out here never do that always take it yourself because they can take up to like two hours for that so the visitor toll pass is just to the right hand side there and we're going to alamo checking desk which is just up here and we're the good thing is with alamo if you book it through them you can just use the self-checking you don't have to speak to somebody and they can't try and swindle you out of anything else what you don't want to do is click on the option that's going to charge you an extra three thousand two hundred dollars let's definitely not click let's that not option that. let's <laughs> never do that all right there you go pick that you got it? You got it? Pull it out. There it is, that's our rental agreement. Shall we go pick our car? Yes! Well, that was the Alamo check-in that we've just done. And there is the toll pass. So I put in all the details in the app before, it spits me out a QR code, and all I've got to do is scan it on that machine. Scan it there, and the toll pass will drop out down the bottom. There we go, that's simple. Ready? Thank you, enjoy guys. Thank you. Got it. Uh, I've already experienced it. Let's let's see what Angela says. <laughs> it's really hot. It does like smell It's like really humid. Yeah. Get some shorts on. We are now in the lane, the mid-size SUV lane, and we have our choice of any of these. So what are you feeling? What are you feeling? Oh, this looks all right. I like the look of this one. Yeah. Yeah, Bronco. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a Bronco. No, I'm feeling a Bronco. We've got the Hyundai Venue. We have an Escape. There's a Jeep. We have an Escape. Oh, Tiguan. Right, I'm pretty much guaranteed this isn't going to be as bad as the last one, right? We got to pick it. So, Bronco is what we have gone for. For Bronco. I mean, look at the front of this car. I'm quite happy with this. Look at that. It's a beast. And Ollie, you've nicknamed it. The Death Star. One thing to remember before you leave, make sure that you put in the reg plate for the visitor toll pass. And look, it's even got enough room for Mariah Carey's luggage. Hey! <laughs> I can't like this time, I love it. Yeah, like the faces are full of stuff for Should we get out of here? Dockside. In the summer! Welcome to our room at Endless Summer Dockside. This is a really cool room. It's a one bedroom suite. We got it for like the same price because it was in the annual pass discount as a standard room. So we were like, yes, all he could have his own bedroom, yeah. win. First thing you see when you walk in is a giant surfboard. <laughs> giant surfboard. We've got our own kitchen. I love this kitchen table. Yeah. The, bench. the bench is really cool. And then, two double beds. We'll show you the view in a minute because the view is cool. Ollie's claimed this room as his own. Is that a comfy bounce bed? Yes. And it's got a really cool curtain wardrobe. Oh, there's an ironing board and iron, that's good. Because all our clothes are getting ironing from, 
from beyond the suitcases. Some spare pillows at the top of them. Yeah, lots of fingers. Yeah. We get the double vanity. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I like a double vanity. I do. I you do love a good double vanity. I do. And we've got the bathroom, which is super nice and clean and bright. With the tub. I'm on. Which Ollie's going to be chuffed about. And now, for the coolest thing about this room, it's view. We've got a pool view, first of all. And how awesome does that pool look? Like, we are definitely going to go down there later. Yep. Or maybe tomorrow, if not today. And we can see Icon Park. That is going to look so cool at night, lit up. And I like that. I fall. Yeah, that, not so great that way. <laughs> well, there's that Sea World in the background. That's cracking, isn't it? Yep. The background yep. straight across. Right the way over there. Oh, I like our view. I, I know that pool, the zero entry pool, looks really cool. Please yes, excuse our son making dirty noises in the background. No hanging space in here, though. Just three drawers. With light. First time we've ever come to Florida, unpacked and then headed out. I know, you, and did it just fail? Usually you you pack it four in the morning, unpack it four in the morning. Yeah, like we literally got here, only wanted like ten minutes to run around, which you needed, didn't we? After yeah. that, it was like a very cramped flight. We had the flighters in front of us for the whole entire flight. Entire flight. So it wasn't the most comfortable flight, was it? No. <laughs> so we let him run around a little bit. Still a little bit hyper, but we're all starving. I've kind of got a second wind. Yes. We've only eaten there once before and it was so good. It was good. And it was that good, we wanted the exact same thing. Well, close enough. We've had two French onion soup. French onion soup. I'm so excited. We managed to get it last time. But it's like my ultimate favourite French onion soup. Yeah. 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 And then we've gone with popstickers. And it's finishing our show definitely. Yeah, that Angela loves. Oh, it's so good. And then Ollie was going to go for burgers, but they're all out of burgers, aren't they, buddy? So he's having fried shrimp platter. Yeah. Here's the menu for anyone's interested. Uh, as always, yeah. link is in the description or the QR code at the side. We're all flagging a little bit now. We've like come in and sat here and we're all like... We knew this was going to happen though. Yeah, we, said, we need oh, food. We're waiting for food. Yeah. We're all going to go tired. Everyone's rubbing their eyes. We're at the point of burnout. <laughs> We've been up since 4am and it is now midnight, our, like England time. I don't think there's ever been a vlog, a travel day vlog that someone hasn't mentioned the home. Time. The home, yeah. At the time of the end of the day. <laughs> I know, but it is like late. It's jet lag this right now. Fighting jet lag. <laughs> Can you tell us she's tired? There you go. Yeah. At dockside. We are back. We are fully fed. Yeah, food coma. <laughs> so tired. Now. Is so good. It's like we were just sat there and it was like this wave of like drunken tiredness washed over. so us. bad. $52 all together that meal cost. I think that's good. It's good value. Yeah. That's the end of today. Travel day is done. It's done. It's done and dusted. We're excited for day one tomorrow, though. Yes. We've got lots and lots of fun coming up. Yes. I'm so drunk. Tired drunk. Yes. Shall we go to bed? Not drunk, drunk, tired. So Until next time. We'll see you on tomorrow's adventure. Catch you later. Bye.